All right, okay, are we ready to begin? What are you drinking currently? <laughs> Hi, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? received an order for the first time ever. What is it? Um, well, first I saw there was going to be like an oolong tea order. So um, we don't make oolong tea because sometimes like no one orders it. So we just see it waste. So we don't make it until the time. life. You click the order type and then just based on what they want. So there's a large roast milk tea, large signature milk tea, no toppings, no ice, half sugar, a black tea latte. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Large, no ice, half sugar. Regular, slight sugar, no ice. Okay, and then you click pay so that the order prints.
go, ice, half sugar. So, we grab our shaker, the large shaker. If you want no ice, you just get a little bit of ice. Half sugar. to make stuff, right? Yeah. What do you make? Um, like a lot of things, but usually macarons. Okay. Here's our freezer where there's like fruit and toppings and stuff. And then here is the register mm -hmm. where people order and I like mm -hmm. do that. And then this is Uber Eats, Chabas, and DoorDash, which is our like delivery whatever. Mm -hmm. And then this is where we keep like Toppings just to easy access. And then boba. Mm -hmm. And then another fridge for all of our fruit syrups mm -hmm. fruit drinks. And then here is like the powdery stuff, like matcha powder and like cocoa powder or whatever. And then this is a soda stream for carbonation. This is a sugar machine. So when you're like less sugar, we just like press a different button. This is a I don't know what it's called. It's like a oh steamer. And you're gonna, this is boiling water, sink. 
ice. Teas. Amazing. So how do you make hot drinks? You fill it up with tea in like one of these. And then I'll do a demonstration for you. Ooh. And then you do this. And then it adds tea. Mm. And then you use a thermometer. I can see how hot Interesting. it is. Blender for smoothies and stuff. Oh, and this is the drink sealer. Mm. So you just press this button and it seals it. And that's the kitchen, which we're not going to enter because it's really messy. Okay. Thank you for the tour. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a few questions about how the coronavirus has impacted your work. So how long are your work shifts before versus after? Before I used to work like eight to ten hours a week, and now I work like 20 hours a week. Wait, really? Yep. Okay. Even though the store is closed for longer, basically I'm the only employee now. So, <laughs> it's like me and another dude. So, okay. gotta do what you gotta do. How about customers? So how many customers before versus after? Um, I don't know exactly how many, but like a lot less. Like a lot less? less than, or like about half. Oh, that's not that bad then. Less than half for sure. Okay. So how do you spend your time when there are no customers? Well, when actually when there are customers, but I'm not like talking to them, I listen to podcasts. Okay. And so what podcasts? Just like random podcasts. Okay. <laughs> and then when there are not customers, I'm like on my phone, like watching TikToks or like making random TikToks, or I'm like cleaning. So like mopping or like brushing or okay. doing things I should be. Okay. Can you show me some of the safety precautions that are being used? Oh, for coronavirus? Mm -hmm. well, actually, there's tape over there, which is six feet away from the register. And mm -hmm. you're supposed to stand there in order, but mm -hmm. no one does it. They're mean, okay? They're not, they're not following the rules. And there's like signs on the door that says, please maintain a six feet distance and also as for the law, no one's allowed to sit here, so there are no more like chairs and tables like made available for sitting. And also, um, obviously, everyone who works here wears a mask. What? How about cleanup? I disinfect everything. Oh. <laughs> um, I wash my hands a lot. Like, okay. My hands are gonna fall off because of how dry they are. Just how often I wash them. Okay. Sounds relatively safe. Well. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay. How has business been affected? Um, a lot of these people, both my managers are now out of the country, so... And they can't get back, right? And yeah, they can't really get back. So, um, not as many people coming. Yeah. Okay. Do your parents worry about you getting the virus, or are they more, like, chill? Um, they used to be worried, but... Now that it's been going on for so long, they're like, they're, they're confident that I will have be wearing a mask and like staying away from people, so okay. they're not that worried. Do you think stores should be allowed to remain open during this time? Um, well, I think essential businesses are fine. Like, restaurants are not dining in anymore, so that's good. So I think... Yeah, they should be allowed to remain open, but like not like malls or whatever. Okay. Do you think sh people should be going in person or using delivery more? Um, delivery? Like I understand it can be expensive, but also like if they're concerned about the risks, they should do a delivery. Why did you decide to keep working? Because I'm bored and I need to go shopping. And what do you need for shopping? Money. And what do you need to get money? A job. Okay, so what do you spend your money on? Um, literally so many random things. Now that I don't go out to eat, um, just clothes, random things online. Yeah, so, mostly clothes. So instead of, let's say, earning more money, why don't you think of maybe changing how you purchase goods? Well, I can't because like, my sense of style is really hard to upkeep because, like, every time, like, the trends change, my style also changes, which is really annoying. But 
the good thing is I'm not just like throwing away my clothes. I sell most of them on Depop. So that's also a way to keep my closet not like overflowing and earn money. A lot of the boba experience is, you know, the atmosphere of the cafe, sitting in it, studying, etc. How do you think people enjoy boba differently now that, you know, the cafes are closed? Well, I guess they just can only enjoy it at home or maybe on the car. So there's not really any studying to be done since you can't really study anymore. So um, yeah, they're just enjoying it for the taste, purely. Okay. So some other questions. Can you touch on how Cha Time has maybe implemented some sustainability into their business model or, you know, practices and stuff? So we got new cups, like these ones, for like a really long time ago, actually. We got these and they're reusable and also like you don't need a straw for them if there's no toppings. So um, that's like using less plastic straws and then so why plastic instead of paper? Well, that's a good question. I feel like like I've never seen that, but maybe that could be like a possible future idea. I think a lot of the issue is like you have to seal, like boba is usually sealed so you can like shake it around. So. Okay, but your warm drinks are with paper, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what about you personally? Me personally? Well, yeah. I like always use metal straw. Let me see this. Okay. And my entire family uses metal straws. So like when I bring drinks myself, like I don't have to like get a cup and a plastic straw, um, which is actually a lot of things because every time I work, I want to drink something. So okay. yeah. How do you stay healthy despite drinking so much boba? Well, I don't stay healthy. <laughs> so that's the answer. Um, well, green tea is healthy, right? And we have green tea. So sometimes when I'm trying to be healthier, I just drink green tea. So it's like no it's sugar. just drink, it's just plain green tea? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Anything else that you want to share about working here, about coronavirus? Tip your essential workers, please. Like every time I see someone and like ordering like a huge $30 order drink, like they come in and they leave no tip. I'm like, come on. Like people are basically risking their lives to give you both. So you should tip them. And if you get like any, you go out to eat anything, you should like tip the takeout person or, yeah. Okay, can I offer a word of advice? What? <laughs> you should learn better how to wear a mask. Okay. Okay. <laughs>